Here's a quick video on how to create groups in uh, Real. So um, I am logged in as my school admin. Um, I can click on groups here. And the first thing I want to do is I want to set up a group set. Then I'll set up the groups. Um, and so I'll come over here and the group set would be something like I want to do the pilot study. And then within my pilot group set, when my pilot study, I might have four groups or I might have one group, but let's say I have uh, one group and then I would actually select the faculty and I might within the, this group, I might have subgroups. So I might have group A and group B. If not, then let's say I have two groups and then I would say I can have group A or group B and group two, and then I'll select the faculty member. And I can go on and add more groups or I can remove the groups. Um, and if I only have the one group, then I can add that group. Oops, it already exists. So let me call this group A instead. Uh, group set name. Oh, the group set name. So let's call this uh, pilot one. And this would be group one. Sorry about that. There we go. So now I have this group and I want to add students to the group. So I click on it, it turns blue. And then I can either search my list of students here and then I can add them and bang. And now that student has been added. So um, from that, I am good. And so then if I want to look at the data, so then I can go to my dashboard now, if I want to look at the lowest LOs, then I click on switch to groups and I click switch to groups and there's my pilot and my group one. And if I have more than one group, I'd have group one, group two, group three, group four, and so on. And then I would have the lowest LOs and then I would have the lowest LOs by each individual student in my group. And it would break this out if I had group A and group B, it would break that out as well. Um, and then I also have the data on who did not take the quizzes. Um, and obviously I didn't take a quiz. You can see me down here at the bottom. Um, so hopefully that helps. Also, if you wanna change the dates, let's say I wanna look at the beginning of a semester to the date that it is now, then it will calculate that data as well. So it'll be in this course for that group set for this group and it'll give all that information there. Hopefully that's helpful and um, let me know if you have any questions, thanks.